Jenna Danielle here and today we are cleaning out my closet. So with quarantine, I've been cleaning so much and especially because I have three bunnies, they literally make a mess every single day. So I'm constantly either like sweeping, picking things up off the ground, but I thought it was time to finally clean out my closet. I have a ton of clothes and that's because my channel is primarily thrifting related and also I have a Depop so I have clothes literally everywhere. So I bought this closet here, which is my personal closet. I have three racks in my dining area, which is kind of my Depop area. So everything that I want to sell. And then I have drawers, but I'm not gonna even touch that. So I'm gonna end up having a total of three piles. We're gonna have one for donations, one for Depop, and one that for sure I'm gonna be keeping in my closet. Um, I wanna finish all of this by today, but if you see anything that you like, I'm most likely gonna have it listed on Depop, so let me know down below if you want it. I can hold it for you, but let's get started. Let's bring you in closer into my closet. So here we just have all my shoes, and y'all, I apologize. It is so dark in here. I don't have a light in my closet, so we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. So here I have most of my bottoms. Um, they're not on bottom hangers because I use those hangers for Depop. But here we have all of my tops and dresses. We have some sweaters that I like to wear regularly, but I do have my own rack for specifically sweaters and jackets. And then, so embarrassing, but here on the bottom, we've just got clothes that doesn't fit on hangers and we've got boots there at the very far corner. Can you see that? I'll show you guys later. That just doesn't fit on the shoe racks here. So. Let's get started. I'm gonna literally take everything out y'all. I'm gonna put it all on the bed and just start sorting So let's get to it Okay, I changed my mind. I have all my tops on my bed. Luckily, it's only my tops. I think what I'm gonna do is put them on a clothes rack first and then sort through them easily where they're not in my hidden closet and then pick out and choose what and what I don't want. I think I like that idea more. Okay, ah, let's get everything back onto a rack then, okay. You guys, we've got everything on a rack. Okay, this is good, this is good. I'm gonna go to this rack right now and just ask myself with each piece whether I wear it often, if I still like it, do I see myself seeing it in the future, or would it be better in someone else's closet? So let's start off with the first piece. The first one is this red top. I already know off the bat I'm gonna keep this. I wear this pretty often and I love how feminine it is. Plus y'all, look at these buttons. They're like in shape of flowers, which I think is so freaking cute. So I'm gonna keep this one. Next one is this red dress. Honestly, I got this recently. The thing is that it doesn't fit me. So this one I'm gonna be posting on my Depop. I think it's really cute. Again, it follows like that very feminine style that I like, but it's just a shame that it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. This one gives me like C's candy vibes. I think I saw that in a video. I love the little frill. I love the polka dot that's really in right now. But this has more of a vintage element to it and I that really isn't my style so I'm gonna go ahead and post this on Depop. Yes, yes, yes. I already know I'm gonna keep this one. I absolutely love styling with this. It makes also a really good layering piece so I'm gonna keep it. This one I don't wear it very often. I did crop it myself. Honestly Washington State I have no association with it so Depop it is. This is actually a dress that I got from Pajau. She has her own channel here on YouTube. It's called From Daz. And this was actually part of a video we did where we swapped thrifted clothes. So I'm gonna keep this one for sure. It's very pretty, but I don't wear it as often anymore. So we're donating. I actually really love this bodysuit. I think it is so freaking cute. The only thing is that it shows a lot of booby and I don't have that. And actually this makes my boobs look so good y'all, but still it feels so scandalous to wear it. And it's just not me. So I think I'm gonna be posting this on my Depop. Oh, you guys, I absolutely love this shirt. This is a Eunice little sheer top that I got at their sample sale. Y'all look at this. It's mesh construction, it has a contrast lettuce trim, and it has all these cute velvet hearts, but the thing is, 
even though it's a size small it still fits me pretty small like you guys know I got small boobs so this doesn't look like totally flattering on me but I love wearing this with a black bra but I think I'm gonna put this up on Depop so if you guys want it it'll be up there I went to Jen M's sample sale and I love her eggy line so I'm gonna be keeping all the clothes that I bought from her sample sale so that is gonna stay in my closet for sure oh you guys I don't know I'm conflicted I got this at a sample sale um, at my job and I really love it because obviously it's my favorite color and it's sheer and honestly it just fits me so perfectly I actually have a photo of it on my Instagram which I thought was really cute because I took it with my buns um, I'm conflicted this is a maybe I don't know whether I should keep it or not because honestly I don't wear it at all and I think someone else can benefit from this I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. Someone needs that in their wardrobe. I thrifted this at Buffalo Exchange and I actually have a video of it. I have yet to wear this, but you see this like two-tone detail that it has? I actually wanna do this myself. I've been on the hunt for a sewing machine, but it's been so hard to freaking find one within my budget because I don't wanna spend any more than $150. But Walmart and Joann's are totally sold out of sewing machines and I have a few offers on OfferUp, so fingers crossed they get back to me, but definitely gonna keep this one. Okay, y'all, I still have like 80% of the rack left to go, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up. But at the end, I'll show you what I'll be posting on Depop if you're interested. gosh you guys this okay is such a beautiful dress I absolutely love it look at these flutter sleeves this dress is so freaking heavy it's this long long gown it's by the brand Adriana Papel oh I got this at a sample still at my work love the bead detailing I think it's so pretty but I have yet to wear this and I don't know I just haven't had a place to wear but look how pretty this is it's so flirty and feminine oh yes I want to keep this but I've had it for like maybe half a year and I haven't wore it yet, so I think I'm gonna have to give it up. It'll be posted on my Depop. It's, it's so pretty. are good to go this is I'll show you the pile of everything that I'm gonna be posting on to Depop so we've got tops down let's move on to some bottoms <laughs> got in my closet that is on hangers and that are bottoms so I'm gonna go ahead and go through this um, these pants I got at a sample so y'all they still have their tags I'm so guilty of doing this where I buy pants that I think I'll wear and I'll leave the tags on them and then I'll never freaking wear them but these are a skinny leg and they have a raw hem I haven't wore a skinny jean in forever so that is gonna have to go on to Depop these pants I actually really like but I have gained some weight so they do not fit me around the waist anymore and these are originally from Zara, but y'all, look at this frayed hem. Absolutely love how exaggerated it is, but because they're too small, they're gonna have to go on my Depop. Oh, y'all, I love these dickies so much. They fit a smidge too big and they're so freaking long. But y'all, check out this wide leg. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. And obviously this color is super obnoxious, so in love with that. 
but they just fit me too big and too long and I literally have to wear these huge boots. Where are they? These boots aren't even big enough to, for those pants to fit me, so I think it's time to get rid of those pants. Oh, y'all, these pants are lazy oaf. I think they're so cute, and then the back has these little heart pockets, and it's black corduroy, they're culottes. I never wear these anymore, so these are gonna be going on my Depop. These are super cute, love them actually. Y'all, this is my Depop pile right now. We've got heck of clothes in here right now. This is a lot. I'm, y'all, I'm telling you, I'm really trying to purge my closet here. So this is the stuff that I'm keeping so far. We still have to go through all these bottoms, but that should be fairly quick. And then, ugh, so embarrassing, but I have still have such a mess down here. I think I'm planning on keeping all my shoes. I mean, they're either like brand new or, or in horrible condition, so I'm not gonna show those off or get rid of them. Let's get into my bottoms. bottoms I got two for sure that I'm keeping the rest are on my Depop rack let's go ahead and go through these now these I like so these are keeping I'm gonna have my keep pile here my donate pile here and my Depop right in front of you guys so these I definitely do like they have more of a wider leg the wider the leg the most like more likely I'm gonna keep it these are my all-time favorite pants ever they're a Tommy Hilfiger jean that I found at the Goodwill outlet they're super like freaking distressed it's like embarrassingly distressed but I love that I just feel like it gives the jean a lot more character so we're gonna keep those these I got at a sample sale a warehouse sale actually uh, they were only ten dollars I used to wear these all the time because I was really into Korean fashion and they're like more of a culotte but a bit shorter but look at this drop forward waist I thought it was so freaking cool that we're gonna go ahead and sell these shorts are so awesome but I don't wear them as often I don't know whether I want to, no, I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them. Those are just a bold color, so I think I'm going to have those for sure. As much as I love this bold pink pant, they just fit me way too tight. It's, it's like I can't eat because if I just blow just a centimeter, I feel like the button's going to literally blast right off. Love these. Oh, you guys, I love this skirt. This is a recent find at In The Making LA Boutique. I really, really love this skirt, but the midi length makes me a little bit self-conscious because I don't like showing off my calf, my calf muscles. I don't like showing off my calves. It just, they're very skinny, so I just, I think it's time to sell those. These J. Crew shorts, oh, love them. Recently worn for the first time, like yesterday. my skirts shorts and pants and the pile right in front of me this is gonna be the stuff that I'm gonna be posting on to Depop we've got a lot of high-waisted pants some corduroy stuff a few skirts yeah this is gonna all be posted on there soon okay y'all I lied I said that I wasn't gonna get rid of any shoes but I think I am probably not too many but really I kind of don't wear most of these shoes I wear like maybe two three pair so I know for sure I'm gonna get rid of these. Oh, these are actually really cute. These are some Chinese laundry boots that I thrifted at Buffalo Exchange, but I don't ever wear them because this heel is so freaking uncomfortable. It's just a little too high for me. So I'm probably gonna clean these up and then have them posted. Let's see, these I wear, those I wear, these I wear, yes, yes. Oh, I don't wear these very often actually. Look how cute that is, y'all. Oh my gosh, I love these shoes so much but I don't ever wear them. These are the brand Aska. I thrifted these at Salvation Army for like, I think it was 10 or $12, but they retail 300, but I don't ever wear them. So those are gonna go oop, onto my closet, my Depop closet that is. Ah, oh, this is another shoe that I really like, but I don't ever wear. Look how cute this mule is. 
Yes, I'm gonna post these as well. Oh, so sad. Okay, let's see. Those I do wear. Yes, I nope, I do not wear these. Look how cute these are, y'all. Look at the buckles. It's like a curved rectangle, a circle, another rectangle. I think it's super cute. These are from Nine West. I've only ever wore these like three times, so we're gonna get rid of those. Let's see, wear them, wear them, wear them. Oh my gosh, these I do not wear. Look at these, y'all. These are like a huge platform. I've only ever wore these once. Look at this platform, super cute. It has like this mesh little strap here with an adjustable ankle detail. Yeah, those are cute. Those can be long to someone else. Yes, wear them, wear them, wear them. Super comfy, yes, yes, yes. My docks, of course. Haven't wore these yet, but I'm planning on it. Yes, y'all, I've done it. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, you guys, these are all the shoes that I am left with, which honestly, I didn't get rid of too many. I think I got rid of like five pairs. Look how clean that is. The boots I'll be keeping. This is actually a mystery box, y'all. I got a few off of Depop, so that's coming soon. These are the tops that I'm left with. Y'all, that's like half of the closet. I'm proud of myself. These are the bottoms that I'm left with. Not too bad. Everything's nice and clean. It looks so empty. And then y'all, this is everything that's gonna be posted on Depop. I've got so much freaking work to do because it takes so much time. We've got bottoms here and these are the shoes. Yes, so I'm gonna get posting. But that's my closet, y'all. But you guys, that pretty much does it for the end of my closet clean out. I can't believe I've finally done this. Honestly, I was dreading getting to this just because it's very time consuming. But you guys can see behind me that this is the clothes that I'm left with. This is gonna be all the Depop stuff. I have a small donation pile, but honestly, it wasn't that big just because before the quarantine, I actually donated a crap ton of clothes to two thrift stores. So we didn't have too much to donate today. But I am gonna be spending the next couple of days writing copy, taking images, measurements of all the things that I'm going to be posting onto Depop so you guys should expect that very soon. If you see anything that you like let me know. You guys can DM me on Instagram I'm at Girl, or you can just leave it down in the comments down below and I'll hold it for you. My prices are pretty reasonable on Depop so feel free to check it out but I do recommend that you guys take advantage of the quarantine. This lockdown is providing a lot of time for us to just kind of refocus ourselves and clean the things around us so if your closet is in need of a purge, y'all, I recommend you guys clean it out and see what you can keep, what you guys can sell, make a little bit of money on the side, or even donate to your local thrift store. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna join the Eggy family. I tried to post thrift related content these past few weeks. With the quarantine and the lockdown, I haven't been able to post as many thrift hauls. I had one mystery box, y'all. I am expecting three more mystery boxes, so that video is gonna be coming soon. But as always, I post videos with the quarantine once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!